So here's what we're doing today. Completely changing the background to black. I actually don't know, I've never really done something like this before, so hopefully it'll turn out good. If not, I'll still show it to you because this is something that I'm working on. And so yeah, a couple things we're gonna do. Let me actually show you. Whenever I'm shooting, the background is just too plain, right? I really dislike just the white walls. So I ordered some stuff from Amazon, a wallpaper that you could put on your walls. So we're gonna put that in that corner over there as a shelf. I'm gonna unscrew this and move that stuff. So yeah, let's do a little bit less talking and let's get to work. So this wallpaper thing, I need to wash or just clean the wall before actually getting to it. So let's do that. we're done with two it's pretty easy actually to do it once you get a hang of it but I have to run now I have volleyball game today so I'm gonna go do that and come back and try to finish this oh. it's been three hours I just got home back from playing volleyball so let's just dive back into it and finish this project today Going, so you're on camera. Oh, okay. Just gonna throw a peace sign out there. Just, just throw it, not too hard. Don't hit anybody. Pretty much finished with the wall. Right now, I need to install the shelf. I also removed my old shelf that was over here. Yeah, so I'm not gonna start doing that because it's getting pretty late and tomorrow I need to wake up at 5 a.m. to go for a run, so we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna put all my computer stuff back. Just got back from my run, another half marathon for breakfast. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, there's quite a few bubbles here. Let me actually try to zoom in and see if you can see some bubbles. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is, I'm just gonna use like a needle or something like that and try to just pop those bu bubbles, just, you know, make a hole and try to squeeze out the air. So let's see if that's gonna help it. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and install the shelves. So here's the problem that I'm having right now. So here on the manual, it says part one, part three. So it's part one and on this side, it's part three. You can see right here. And then it tells us to connect them, which I did, but then they forgot to make holes here. So, and I don't have a drill, so I'll see what I can do, but this definitely makes my job much harder than it should be. So now this is how exactly my videos will look from this point on.
If you've been watching my Instagram stories for the past couple of weeks, you've noticed a trend. Every single week, I try to focus on one thing on my YouTube channel and try to improve it. And this week's focus has been mostly on my studio, which also is known as my living room. I wanted to do something different. So I wanted to always have that blurry effect where the background is really blurry, which I was able to do Really, the problem was not the camera, the settings, it's just that the lens that I had wasn't capable of doing this. And pretty much learned there's one thing that we need to fix is aperture. You just need to have a lens with low aperture. And that's all there is to it. Don't worry about it. Just if you ever are trying to do this, pretty much buy a lens that has low aperture and you're good to go. Another thing, this is just how I have it right now. I might actually include some more lights in the background so it doesn't look just black. Also, thank you for sticking by and watching my YouTube channel slowly transform and get better with every video. We'll be looking at this together probably a couple years from now and we'll be laughing at this video that I'm making currently, this current moment, and we'll be laughing together. I added a couple more lights in the background and that is it for now. I'm pretty satisfied for now. We'll see how it goes as the time goes by. I'll probably... Good timing for that car in the background. Anyways. So I've added a couple lights in the background. I'm pretty satisfied at this point. I'll be probably tweaking over time, but I think it looks pretty good at this point. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this transformation worth it? or what's your opinion what can i add or maybe subtract this is turning into a math lesson anyways all right see you next week